Hello, Dr. Diamond Club podcast listeners. My name is Brian Wright, national keynote speaker, CEO of New Patient Group, the founder of the Dr. Diamond Club, and co-host of the Dr. Diamond Club podcast. Now, this one's pretty neat. It's called the domino effect, and it's the order and the language utilized to present a message to a targeted group of people. You know, we're all trained to think, act, speak, etc. And we're all trained to do those things in specific ways, whether we realize it or not. We're all very consequence oriented as a group. You've heard us talk about this as a company a million times. You're going to hear hear it a million more because this is one of the biggest ways to start more treatment, whether you're an orthodontic practice or you're trying to get someone to start more treatment out of hygiene or whatever, whatever else practice you are for that matter. In the domino effect. And I like that picture because I want you to think every single word that you speak. Imagine it starting with a domino that's standing straight up. And every time you're communicating that message, it should be knocking slowly one domino into the next. And again, this isn't our theory. This is consumer psychology speaking. Things that I've been taught and learned over the course of my career. Not opinion. It's how somebody receives a message, and while they're receiving the message, how they start to process the knowledge of that message. And then, as they're processing the knowledge of that message, how it begins to change their attitude in creating a change in behavior. And whether it's your people on the telephones, whether it's the content on your website, whether it's posts being made on social media, whether it's your hygienist talking or you as a clinician, Every word you communicate goes into the domino effect if you communicate it properly. And that is a big problem on why consumers do not value the profession the way they should. The way everybody on this call thinks they should and everywhere, you know, the way I think they should. And it's because consumers interpret data and information the complete opposite of how healthcare professionals are taught to speak in their respective schoolings. It puts, it puts up a huge barrier between that patient seeing more value in your prescribed treatment. I'm prescribing you three crowns, a root canal, and Invisalign. If I'm an orthodontist, I'm prescribing you braces, or maybe it's Invisalign, or some other form of ortho method, whatever it is. In order for that consumer to go through that three-step decision-making process that we started or that we talked about earlier. They have to go through the domino effect. You have to knock down the dominoes in order in their mind for them to go, hmm, I see value in that because I understand it and they change their behavior and they tell you that they want to buy it. Has to happen. Now we teach something that you guys know called the PCS model. Problem, consequence, provide the solution. Whether you realize you do it or not, 99.9% of dental professionals, GPs, orthodontists, etc., speak in a very solutions-oriented manner. There's nothing wrong with that because you are solutions-oriented as a profession. Nobody's saying there's anything wrong with it. However, if you want to create the domino effect inside that patient's brain, Again, internal marketing, everything is marketing. You must speak in a way that your respective schoolings did not teach you. You have to be consequence oriented. Consumers need to hear what they are going to lose if they do not start treatment with you. Now, we're not teaching you to scare the the you know what out of them. That's what we get that all the time. God, I don't want to scare our patients or isn't that salesy? No. It's educating them in a way that persuades them to buy because they understand and value the treatment more than they did before. And it goes something like this. Remember, every one of those letters stands for something. It's first identify the problem. So let's say we're going to use, because we have a combination of GPs and orthos today, let's use Invisalign as an example. And we'll use an easy one. Whether it's you talking, the hygienist talking, or maybe it's your assistant talking. And we're not telling you to not discuss the benefits. You can discuss how exciting it is and how beautiful you're going to look. We want you to do that. We're not telling you not to. However, at some point, you also have to discuss this and let them know, look, you can see in the photos here that you have some misalignment. You can see that, right? Yeah, I I can see that, sure. 
Now, here's the problem with this. If you choose to do nothing about the misalignment, look, we all know teeth, you know, straight or beautiful cosmetic purposes is going to give you great confidence. But what's important to know, because a lot of people don't, is if you choose to do nothing about this, this is going to continue to shift. Okay, and as it continues to shift, it may not be overnight, but what's going to happen is this can lead to gum disease because it's harder to clean in between the teeth and other reasons as well. And once you get to gum disease, that's when major problems start happening. Okay, gum disease, it then leads to you losing bone. And once you start losing bone, that's when you start losing teeth. You've all seen the, you know, the older people don't have teeth. There's a reason for it. Okay. So therefore, I'm going to prescribe you Invisalign. That is a brief example of much higher level things that we teach. But what I just did is I activated the domino effect inside that consumer's mindset. All right. We don't teach this just because it sounds good. We teach it because it's proven by biology. You have to discuss the consequences and do it in an order that knocks down the dominoes. You can't be all over the place with your stuff. You've got to speak in a way that consumers can value what you offer at higher levels. And I think we all can agree that we want people to value what it is we do. You know, I want you guys to value the teachings that you're getting, whether it be on this webinar or any others. I want you to value it. Hurts my feelings if you don't, because I have a passion for this. And it's no different than you guys. If I was a doctor, it would hurt my feelings if, you know, I didn't feel a patient was valuing what I provided. You guys worked hard to go to school. So it's up to you guys to convince the consumer that you're the place to be and you're the place to buy from. And this is a great way to do it. Puts more value on the medical aspects, in my mind, of straightening teeth in that particular example. I want to thank you for listening and a special thank you to all of our loyal followers out there and our clients and members of New Patient Group and the Dr. Diamond Club. Remember, subscribe to our Dr. Diamond Club podcast. You can find us on iTunes uh, and other well-known places. Just type in Dr. Diamond Club. And remember to subscribe to our New Patient Group YouTube channel. Just enter New Patient Group into YouTube. And we ask you to subscribe and like as many videos as you can on there. Looking forward to talking to everybody again. We'll see you soon.
I want to thank you for listening and a special thank you to all of our loyal followers out there and our clients and members of New Patient Group and the Dr. Diamond Club. Remember, subscribe to our Dr. Diamond Club podcast. You can find us on iTunes and other well-known places. Just type in Dr. Diamond Club. And remember to subscribe to our New Patient Group YouTube channel. Just enter New Patient Group into YouTube. And we ask you to subscribe and like as many videos as you can on there. Looking forward to talking to everybody again. We'll see you soon.